All right, everyone. Uh, Jack here. I'm just here to uh, do a little rebuttal on uh, City Hall's latest video. Uh, he did top five people he'd take the space, and he had pretty good picks. I approved of a lot of them, but I feel like there's some uh, he could have made better. So here are my five picks of people I would take the space on my crew with me who are living, dead, real, or fictional. Now, first, Andrew. He's not coming. No way. He's too tall for space. There's a height limit, and he surpasses that. Next is, he, he probably eats trash, as you can tell from the file photo. I mean, he's, he's right next to a garbage can. And then, uh, he's too good at dirge. Uh, he'd make me look bad in front of the rest of the crew. I don't really want that baggage on the ship. I'm sorry, it can't be done. Now, next, Pepsi Man. Pepsi Man's coming on the ship immediately. I mean, he supplies Pepsi, so you always have... Where there's Pepsi, there's fun, you know what I mean? So there's gonna be infinite Pepsi, infinite fun. Next, uh, he has a drippy chain, so he looks real cool. And then he has durable aluminum skin, so he could, you know, space. That'd be pretty neat. He's, he's aluminum, he's shiny, he's a, he's tough. So, uh, yeah, he's coming to space with us. Alright, next, we got Perfect Cell. Perfect Cell's perfect, and he's a cool bug guy. I love bugs, he's a cool bug guy, he's coming with us to space. He'll be cool, he can fly around, do whatever. He's fast and he's strong, so, you know, he could fight if we need him to fight, you know? And also, he's perfect. I mean... Why not? You know, he's, he's perfect, so he literally, he gets to come on the ship. So, Perfect Cell's coming with us, too. Alright, next, uh, we got Captain Planet. Now, Captain Planet is clean. You know, he keeps stuff real neat and tidy. He can keep the ship energy efficient, so, you know, we're not putting any weird gases into quantum space and matter, you know? And then, also, he has a great rogues gallery. He's got some funny villains. So, you know, it'd be cool if we're adventuring, we come across one or two of them, you know? It'd be kind of fun, you know, hang around with them, you know, take, take care of business. So Captain Planet, definitely coming. Because uh, there's not only the one planet, there's other planets he can go to. Now next we got the Technomancer. The Technomancer is great. He can hack anything with his computer USB brain. He has chips implanted in his neurocortex and he can hack into the cyberverse and the digital world. Uh, he eats glitches, which is great because he could he could just clean out our computers, really check the cache uh, you know, and the cookies. He, c he can take care of all the scum and muck that gets in there, you know? And also, he's a mega brain. He's got genius IQ uh, neuro pathways, and he can he can he can take care of any problem, you know. So definitely, Technomancer coming on the team. And finally, we got the boy Sasquatch. If you could tell in the photo, he's in the the red ring there. That's Sasquatch. Uh, he's strong. He's a little elusive, but if we can get him, he's he's a tough boy. Uh, he's also resistant to cold. All that fur, the excess hair, it keep it, you know help him in deep space when it gets nice and chilly. And then also, he's like the Chewbacca equivalent. So, like, if we wanted a uh, Chewbacca, but we can't get him, like, he's he's just Chewbacca, pretty much. So, it's like, if we're going to space, we need a Chewbacca. So, he's uh, he's coming on the team. Uh, so, now that we have our team settled, we're going to throw them all out, because I'm not bringing them. Instead, I'm bringing Egg. Uh, 